Gingerbread Collectibles coming back to you today with a video I'm very excited to make. I've been waiting for this figure here, and it actually came in pretty early. Originally, when I pre-ordered it, it said it wouldn't be here until the spring of 2023. Um, but this thing, it literally just came in the mail um, not 15 minutes ago. I opened it up and came right out here to do this so I could get him out of the plastic. Um, so, as you can see, this is the new retro-carded X-Men Marvel's Beast in lab coat. Um, like I said, very excited for this one. Uh, growing up, my favorite uh, superhero cartoons growing up were Batman, Spider-Man, and the X-Men, and Beast was one of my favorites. Um, I do have two other Beast figures, but I do not have Blue Beast. Um, as the original um, Marvel Legends Blue Beast has been a little expensive. Um, so this one, I was very happy when they announced this one. And so let's get him out of the package and take a look and see what we got. So I've got it sliced open. Let's get him out of this packaging here. So, we've got, obviously we've got Beast here in the lab coat. With the extra, the angry sculpted face. We have a extra left and right hand. Beast glasses. I'm not really sure how well these are going to hold on to his head, but we will try them since they're there. But some tiny little beast glasses. And then we also have some beakers here. We have a round beaker and a beaker labeled X Gene 6. All right, let's get that packaging out of here and get Beast on a stand so we can take a look at him. Here we go guys, Beast in all of his glory. So here you go, you can see everything laid out plainly there. So we've got Beast in his lab coat on a stand. We've got the left and right hands, the angry face. There are the two um, lab bottles or beakers, I mean, and there are his glasses. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look at some of the details here. So. We've got the lab coat, obviously, being one of the gimmicks for this particular one. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing off and see the rest of him. Ooh. Boy, does not want to come off. I will say it's a little difficult to get off. Luckily, he's pretty flexible being Beast. Beast does all kinds of weird poses anyways. So, luckily, he is kind of posable, flexible. So, but it can be a little difficult to get off. All right. So, now let's put Beast back on the stand here without the lab coat. So, here's his coat. He's got the little pocket. So, all right, so that's, that's his coat. <clears throat> now we can see him in all of his glory and his true glory there. No lab coat. All the sculpting and the painting that they have done. Um, I think he looks absolutely amazing. Um, they've got, you know, he's that main blue. And he's got some darker, some darker hints here and there in his blues. Um, you know, it's not 100%. They probably could have done some more uh, highlights or darks in different areas. But overall, very happy with this beast here. Um, and we've got his, his belt there with his trunks. 
So let's check out for his posability. So we've got for the head, we've got glasses. Whoop, yep, popped right off. So that is as far as he can look up, look down. It does have some swivel to it, some giggity giggity. All right, left and right. Then for the shoulder, we do have the butterfly joint. Let's move these out of the way for now. We do have the butterfly joint back and forth. And the shoulder, that's as high up as we go. But it can do a full 360. Then we got bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbow. Then we have the wrist with the pivot and twist. We do have a little bit of ab crunch here. And we got some back bend as well. As far back as he goes. Now for the kicks. That's as far out front as we can go. Now back. It goes up pretty high still. Um, it kind of kicks out to the side a little bit as you can see. But it will go up pretty high. And then we've got the thigh cut swivel. It's a little stiff. Double jointed knees. Ankle pivot and swivel. And finally, we have with the toes. So that covers all of his articulation points overall. Uh, pretty standard for Beast. I think it's actually, to be 100% honest, I think it is actually the same as my Gray Beast that I have. I'm going to take a closer look at it here in a minute, just to double check that. But I'm pretty sure it's actually the exact same sculpt as Gray Beast, but with some with some slight differences here and there obviously um but overall very happy with that so let's swap out his hands and the head and see what we can do with those as well so that's his regular head now we're going to switch over to angry beast oh, oh angry head not wanting to go on quite as easily There we go. Now angry face is on. And let's see. So we got spread palm here. And then we're going to do away with fist. And give him the holding hand. Okay. So, let's see. Well, putting the glasses on this head wouldn't make too much sense, so we're going to swap back to his normal head. Okay. So, let's try out these glasses and see how well they hold on. I don't see them holding on very well. Maybe see him holding them in his hand versus them actually sticking to his face. Yeah. Yeah, not doing a very good job there on sticking to the face. I didn't plan, I didn't think they would, so not too big of a deal. Um, let's see, so I'm going to get some poses out of him, and then I'm going to break out my other two beast figures and kind of compare and contrast and see where they're the same and different. And uh, so we'll be right back. So here we have a look at all three of my Beast figures side by side. So we've got Dark Beast, and then we have the older version of the uh, Retro Collection, the original Grey Beast. So just at a quick glance here, I believe that Grey Beast and Lab Coat Beast here, they are, they have got to be identical in the body molds. Um, I haven't looked it up or anything, just... From looking at them, they've got to be the exact same body sculpt, which is not a bad thing. I do, uh, I do think it's a really good one. Um, now, Dark Beast, the upper body, I believe, is the same as well. Obviously, the lower body, he has the pants sculpted into him, so the lower body is a little different. Now, I will give him credit on 
Blue Beast and Gray Beast over here. One thing they did not do for Dark Beast, I guess because they put so much more detail up here in the head with the braids and the hair and then the pants. Um, they did not paint the nails, so he just has gray nails and they just blend right into the hand and in the foot. But on Gray Beast and Lab Coat Beast, they have painted the nails so they stand out, which is really nice. Um, and then on Blue Beast and Gray Beast, the head sculpts are different. Although, I do believe that the Angry Face sculpts may actually be the same as well. Um, and I don't have it handy at the moment. I don't know what his alternate head is. So, it may actually be the same sculpt all around. But I'm pretty sure this is a new head. Um, but I do really enjoy this head sculpt here. The hair, everything, the sideburns, the scowling face. Um, just... Overall, I'm really happy, really excited about having this figure in. Um, looking to get a few more of the X-Men figures that remind me of the cartoon, because that's what I really grew up on. Uh, so I'm very, very excited, very happy to have this figure. And so now we're just going to uh, get some shots, and I'll put those up at the end of the video. Just uh, let me know what you think, guys. How, how do you feel about this new beast? And... Um, how does it compare to the other ones? Uh, like I said, I don't have the original Blue Beast because it was just, it was too much money. I couldn't justify spending, you know, I think the last time I looked it was almost $200. I just couldn't do that. So I was very happy to see this one come out. Just, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are they just out there for the money? Because this is basically just a, you know, repainted version of Grey Beast over there. Or, you know what, though? I'm happy. I got Blue Beast. So, yeah. Again, like I said, just let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, have a good rest of your day and stay tuned for the pictures.